In this tutorial, we'll take a look at Microsoft Project 2010 and uh, setting up a project that uses a um, fixed cost for each activity that's been awarded to subcontractors. You can see in this case we're working on something of a construction project and there's our resources, Dozer Siteworks, J&J Woodworking, PH General Plumbing, and right down the line. Over here on the uh, resource sheet, go to view, <coughs> resource sheet, and we can see each of those resources were already set up and then the type needs to be set to cost. Uh, it's important that you set the type to cost. The default answer is normally work. Uh, that would be for a time and materials basis but this is a fixed price contract so we're going to set that to cost because then over here where we've actually set up our task if you double click on that and go into the details there's resources, predecessors, general. Let's look at the resources. Dozer site work has been assigned to that task and they've given us a bid of twenty thousand dollars. This cost field is only available if the resource sheet is set to cost. So that's where the information would go and uh, that cost is then only associated with Dozer site works for that task. Now once that's in place we can run reports and go over here to project. Here's the reports choice. Let's take a look at a cash flow report. That's under cost. There's five reports under the cost options, but we're going to use the cash flow one. I'm going to edit that first. There's two different ways to run it. You can run it by resource or by task. Let's run it by task first. And you can set the time period, whether you want to do it for months, weeks, third of months, days, however you want to run that. Let's run it for months this time. And I'll just click OK and then select the report. So it ru should run for every task in this project by month and uh, that'll give us a feel for how the cash outflows are going to be for this project. There we go. The project looks like, get a little greater detail here, March, April, May. Um, and let's get down to that second page. Let's see if I can get to the, how do I get that to the second page here? We, there we go. Second page. Uh, it's only going to be two months worth of work, but you can see each of the activities on that. Now, if we don't want it to go to two page, then back on the report, we could have set that up to do summary tasks rather than every task and that type of thing. So let's go to costs again, select. Let's edit our cash flow. This time, let's run it for resources and let's run it for the whole year. And we can see how much money will be going to each of our uh, subcontractors. We'll click OK on that again and then select the report to run under our new parameters. There we go. Get a little more interesting run this time. And uh, all the work will be done in 2012. And you can see Dozer, Dozer Site Work is actually contracted to do t over $210,000 worth of the work. J&J Woodworking right down the line in order from greatest to least. Total for the project $525,000. So just a couple different ways of using cost instead of a time and material, a fixed cost contract. And also how you can look at your cost by uh, resource rather than individually.